So up to this point, uh, we've read a few different comics, right? And um, what I figured we'd do now is uh, hit up a little bit of humor. And this is The Adventures of Barry Wynn, Ween, Boy Genius. And uh, this is probably the funniest comic I've read uh, for at least, at least 10 to 15 years. Uh, I was, um, I just lucked out, I came across it and I was actually looking, went to a local comic shop and they had a lot of trade paperbacks um, on sale for two bucks. And, um, and it had a combination, uh, it, it compiled uh, the first, I believe, um, two miniseries, the two sets of Barry Wynn. And I read it and I just couldn't stop laughing. It was absolutely magnificent. So I went on eBay and I ended up uh, buying all the Barry Wynn uh, floppies, the singles uh, that have been put out. And there's a few of them. There's uh, four different sets. I think there's four different sets anyway. There's Barry Wynn, uh, the first three issues. Okay. And they're, they're cheap. They're, they're less than co way less than cover price. You can buy these for, and this is actually the first appearance of Barry Wynn. And I personally can't believe that this is, this book is not more sought after because it's absolutely amazing. Um, this is Barry Wynn boy genius, the second set. Uh, so it's a three issue again. And then there is, um, uh, Barry Wynn uh, Monkey Tales and this is a six issue set so I guess there's just uh, three sets of this what we're going to do though uh, we're just gonna read issue number one okay um, the first part of it anyway I don't know I can't remember if the whole thing is uh, one set or uh, one story or there's multiple stories um, but it's absolutely hilarious and Barry Wynn the second one is actually extremely good as well uh, they're all very good so what we're gonna do is put these aside and these are the three issues of the first uh, mini series of Barry Wynn one two three okay and this is the first appearance and they came out in 1999 um, from Image Comics and the cover price for this was in 1999 295 uh, US 440 Canadian which is extremely expensive if you consider 1999 prices right um, so wow uh, very expensive which you can pick up right now very cheap very cheap uh, I'm pretty sure for a limited time though um, and this is a comic put together by uh, Judd Winnick okay and is his creation and he's he's done some write-up explaining who this character is and it's sort of a um, you know supposed to be a representation or sort of a mock-up of one of his childhood friends or something like this anyway so what we're gonna do I'm gonna crack this open so I guess this came out in March 1999. Okay. Let's pull this back. As far as uh, grade goes, uh, this is at least, you know, an 8, 8.5, 8.5 at least. Uh, it's got some dents and stuff, not dents, but just stress marks and little no nicks there's nothing missing just stress on there savage dragon savage dragon from image comics uh, very good read uh, Larson did fantastic with it okay and it, I think it's still going savage dragon uh, so he was one of the few image uh, creators that stuck with his guns and kept on producing. But uh, this reading is about Barry Wynn, 
boy genius. So let's take a look. Uh, but by Judd, Judd Winnick, okay. Dedicated to the real, dedicated to the real Barry Wynn, my closest friend since childhood. He's not a genius, but he does curse a lot. Love you, big guy. Cute. Uh, cover color by Russ Wooden. Art by Judd Winnick. The Adventures of Barry Wynn, Boy Genius number one, March 1999, first printing, Image Comics, publish. And it just keeps on going. Image Comics, I guess, is uh, they're based in California. Okay. Printed in Canada. Printed in Canada. A lot of comic books uh, get printed in Canada, or they used to anyway. Uh, so let's take a look <laughs> this, is, this cracks me up knowing what the story is i do recommend if you like the stuff uh, go out and buy it because this issue is not going to do it for you this is just a teaser um, you will want to read the rest okay so let's take a look i should probably start at the beginning i was born a genius jesus is cold out here <laughs> right the eyes of the doctor and the nurse well i was smart even before birth and i'm not talking about talk talking a little smart i mean way smart self-awareness in the womb smart whoa is this my dick so this is uh, for mature readers. There is swearing in it. There is no sex. It doesn't say for mature readers. So I'm assuming this is okay to read. Eh? So for my own safety, it seemed prudent to keep my vast intellect a secret. Goo. I swear it sounds sarcastic when he says it. Says that. <laughs> right. Prior to attaining the proper motor functions to begin my experiments, I endured the level of frustration that I thought would break me. Who's a pretty widdle poodle widdle boy? That would be me, Aunt Rose, and I believe that Mo's cancerous. But I, but I withstood it. But now, as I entered my tenth year, I have adapted. My experience have always borne fruit, and this is a tale of such one accomplishment. Barry Wynn, Boy Genius in Time Lord, Story and Art by Judd Winnick. March 10th, 3.50 p.m. Click. Mm starts humming Boom. shoots out a ray as mick crickle i was just running an experimental trial in the basement it's too involved to go into details here but i will say that it had nothing to do with Inter interdimensional warps that was an accident fuck boom Barry what mom was that no <laughs> mom what was that noise oh that wasn't in the sounded like it came from out back of the house well, I'll go take a look. <laughs> Defensive measures, eh? Diversion. Beep, beep, boop. Jeremy, hi. I need you to come over. 
and Jeremy is uh, Barry's best friend. What for? Just get over here and bring Eric Goldstein. Eric Goldstein? Eric Goldstein's a dick. I'm aware of this. Get him and be here in 10 minutes. You're always telling me what to do. Maybe I don't want to come over. Besides, Batman's on at 4, 4.30. Boom. I'll do your math homework for the rest of the year. Even the workbook? Yes. Wow, shit. Okay. Ten minutes. And don't forget Goldstein. He suck. He's such a dick. Just do it. I heard it again, sweetie. It sounded like it came from from the front yard that time yeah i agree okay then i better take a look out front so he's sending his mom all over the place Shit. eleven minutes 32 seconds later barry Jeremy and Eric are here. Thanks, Mom. Come on down, guys. Hey, hi. Here's your math homework for the rest of the year. Thanks, dude. You'll get a B. A B? Ten minutes ago, you were flunking, so shut up. Fine. So what's the big deal? The... Look at the kid's eyes. <laughs> Fuck. That's what I said. Wow, weenie. What the heck is that? That's what I'm trying to find out, Jeremy. Tie this rope around that support beam. Eric, Eric, tie the other end around your waist. Fuck you, Brainiac. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> Here's $20 and the key to the cabinet in your father's study where he keeps pornography. Cool. Tie the rope around you. Is it tight? Yeah. Now what should I do? <laughs> Boot. Ah, you get sucked into the vortex. Oh, dude, not cool. That's what Jeremy says. You're the one who said he was a dick. Yeah. But I didn't want you to throw him into a big glowing, glowing vagina. Hey, he's got a safety line. Okay, that should do it. Pull him in. Pops back out. So far, so good. He's not dead. What did you see? Eric, you fucking moron. What did you see? Ugh, he smells bad. Some sort of primordial ooze. Nah, I think it's puke. Eric, did you puke?
stars stars yet what else monsters <laughs> what the sort of monster <laughs> something it's mostly flood what fluid trezapan fluid trezapan he won't remember any of this boom the vortex explodes again shit what's happened i don't know it happens at random intervals what the hell was that from upstairs, a voice from upstairs. Oh shit. Barry, what the hell are you do? Are you everything's fine, Dad? I find my butt. What was that? <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know. <laughs> Don't give me that. Were you messing with the goddamn pipes again? Looks like a goddamn leak or something. <laughs> what did you? Dad, don't. Does it? He gets sucked into the vortex. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Barry, what are you gonna do? That big vagina thing just ate your dad. We are so fucked. Chill. chill we're way fucked you remember how mad my mom got when we spilled paint on the driveway this is much worse just chill i'll figure zit Sploot. the dad comes through the vortex again right plop whoa your dad looks weird fascinating He's regressed down the evolutionary ladder. What? Like in altered states? Your mother let you watch altered states? The woman who said Jesus never had a TV and neither should we. <laughs> no, my folks were in, in New Jersey. My brother let me watch it. Lots of nudies. Brack. Brack. <laughs> oh, there's like hopping. Woohoo. Dad, I need you to try to remember who you are. Uh, you got to focus. He's pretty good at that. <laughs> He's just swinging. Ah. Whoop. Bumpa bumpa, he just bounces up top, upstairs. Shouldn't we go after him? And do what? No, I'm more concerned with boom. Christ, it's getting bigger. We better get out of here. Brock, William, I cannot understand you if you keep screaming. That's the mother father's on the table mom we've got a gas leak in the basement oh no wonder your father is so mad brack yeah so don't go into the basement okay oh and if it should start, it should start to oh let's say implode go over to the Connors William we should just call the gas company bam 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 do you think your mom will be okay with your dad there's no time to worry William 
get down off the table. Dude, I should really be heading home. You can't. I need your assistance. William, stop it. Oh, William, but the boys are just outside. Oh, William. Brock. This is like heart shapes stuff. Sexy time, I guess. <laughs> Dragging the mother upstairs. Bumpa, bumpa, bumpa. Jeremy, if my calculations are correct, then there are 19 possible outcomes for what's transpiring in my parents' basement. 14 of which will end with the fabric of all known reality being shredded. The other five just involve severe flooding. But this no, but this no time to go running home. There you go again, ordering me around. I do no such thing. You do. You do it all the time. Come here. Go there. Help me build this bomb. Give me one of your kidneys. I'm sick of it. We're supposed to be friends. Dick. Tap, 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 tap. We don't have time for this, Jeremy. You're my best friend, and I often take advantage of you, of that. You have my word as a friend, scientist, and the most intelligent carbon-based life form on the planet that I will always take care of you. How about your dad wins the next wins the lottery next week? You can do that? Of course I can. Jesus. So are we cool? Are we done? Yeah, fine. Can you really fix the lottery? Yes, God. If you had if you had any idea how often I'm, I'm gonna get you laid when we hit puberty, you never give me, give me this much shit. Beep beep boop. So they're outside with their phone berries outside with the phone hello this is account 1276 tango alpha charlie oscar i need an order for immediate drop off 23 minutes later ice cream sign here thank you just bring it all around back who are these guys don't ask pool supplies how can you pay for all this stuff? Six words, computer front and the Swiss bank account. <laughs> now what? Using this equipment, I'll investigate. Now I might need you to, oh shit. Look at all the creatures that came out of the time. Uh, time vortex. Okay, we've got to tear in the space-time continuum. Dude, totally Star Trek. Yes. Mom, are you here? Oh, um, I'm up here, sweetie, with uh, your father. Why don't you go to the movies? Money's in my purse. Oh, Brock. Oh, that is too gross. Yes. Folks, people anthropomorphic creatures can I have your attention please welcome to my home my name is Barry you have been ripped out of your own time and dropped here I am going to investigate the problem and then return you to your place of origin please wait here and be patient any questions yeah, if you think that there is a blue fox worth of chance that I, Colonel Mel Malcolm T. Walker, is going to take orders orders from <laughs> boot <laughs> I 
completely, I mean, beautifully drawn comic, right? The expressions are fantastic. Very, very much like bone, the way it's drawn. Uh, any other questions? Fine. This is Jeremy Ramirez. He will be in charge until I return and will provide you anything you need. It's like Jeremy's like waving. Mind the store. Who wants sna Snapple? Whoop, boop, boop. Sound effects. Boop, boop, beep, beep. So he's investigating. Not cool. You hear me? Not cool. You take that business outside. Now, clean this up. The, the center. I think they're called centers. Poop in uh, Barry's living room. And Barry's doing his calculations. Right? He's getting ready to do what he needs to do. Crack. on his equipment click Run. dup, dup, dup. runs in Zip. jumps through the vortex and he goes in there's Barry there's the monsters Jesse's on there. <laughs> Does that chafe? It looks like it chafes. <laughs> Jeremy's a horny. He's horny throughout the whole, uh, he's interested in, uh, he's just getting, hitting puberty, right? So uh, his character's uh, portrayed that way. He's buried inside the vortex, click, flip, beep boop. He sets a bomb, two minutes and 59 seconds. Throws it. Hits the retractor on his, uh, his cord and get zoomed back in going in this direction whirl whirling and then back continues to get pulled in two minutes and 28 seconds Pops out of the vortex. Jeremy, bring him down. Click. Two minutes and six seconds. Okay, folks, down to the basement. Let's go move it out. Everybody, into the big glowing vagina. That's it. Be lively. How are you doing? Fine. But this is going, going too slow. Too slowly. He's checking his time. Hey. All you Billy Pilgrims. Shake a leg. Boot, boot. He's firing at him. <laughs> That's it. Bomb rush it in. Get on in. Forty one seconds remaining. Good. Move faster 
or I'll kill you all. That's it. Zit, zit, zit. Six seconds, four seconds. Okay, that's all of them. Get down. Boom. Baka baka. Boom. And the bomb goes off inside the vert vortex, right? Braka. Braka. Boom. Rumble. Seriously? Well, shit, that was anticlimactic. Seriously. Just fizzled out. So what was that? Sigh, dude. You remember what I said when you asked me to explain a bisectomy? Yeah, you said you wouldn't understand and you really wouldn't want to want to fucking know right same answer the following day i just wanted the following day i just wanted to thank you again you really pulled my can out of the fire no problem how's your dad grunt munch the same aren't you gonna do something about it i mean your dad's a monkey dude I figured I'd give my mom another week of the good life and besides I still haven't gotten those center shit stains out of the carpet Brack <laughs> Look at the mother All happy Grin Oh gross What? My mom and dad were the center shit Both dude And that's the end And that's Barry Ween number one and that was when i first read this uh, in the trade it was uh it was it was very it was really delightful because it was very light-hearted super funny uh, and i keep on laughing as you can tell uh, still laughing at it right uh, it's very humorous very well written very well presented and a good story in my opinion uh, fantastic story and very very cool characters uh, I wish there was more of this actually uh, it's unfortunate that uh, Judd uh, Winnick hasn't uh, produced anymore I don't think they sold very well when they came out and uh, I guess they decided not to do it anymore which is unfortunate hopefully uh, if you're seeing this Judd uh, a recommendation more berry win okay i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now